Hello and welcome back to the AP Laser Workshop. Whether you're a returning family member or somebody who's still on the fence of joining our family, we thank you for joining us today. Um, if you like what you see here today, please click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming uh, workshops. And uh, I am joined as usual by my co-host Alicia and we have our special guest Jeff Nelson from Bolt Laser Works today. Um, Jeff is going to talk a little bit about, he's going to share with us uh, some stuff about his business and his use of the AP laser. But before we get to that, I would like to remind everybody about our uh, laser con that's coming up in May. And modeling um, last year's shirt over yes. here because I'm getting excited. So <laughs> uh, That's going to be at, at uh, Kalahari Resorts down in um, Sandusky, Ohio, uh, very close to Cedar Point. So if you... Um, need more excitement than the water park book an extra day or so before or after and make sure you give yourself time to visit Cedar Point where they've got the greatest roller coasters in the world uh, I am a big roller coaster fan myself and I always look for an opportunity to go to Cedar Point um, but anyways the mo most importantly is going to be we have a really powerful lineup mm -hmm. of guests and speakers for our laser con this time um, as usual and uh, but we are always um, each one we're getting better and better and we're always uh upping the game if you will so again if you haven't already registered please uh go to our find us online to get our uh to our ap laser work group um uh, to uh i'm sorry our ap laser user group or our ap laser before you buy and find the link to go to our to sign for our workshop i'm sorry for the laser con um and uh yeah, there, there's the information on your, on your screen there. Sorry. Yeah, I will say, too, if you go right to our website, it should be a big banner right at the top to get you excited, too. So it's really easy to, you know, find all the details you need there. And if you've already registered, uh, we thank you for signing up. And uh, we're going to have a very, very exciting laser con, as usual, and uh, a good fellowship time. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of guest speakers, uh, Jeff Nelson, again, is joining us from Bolt Laser Works. And uh, uh, Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about your business and how you really got started with the AP Laser? Well, it's uh, kind of a long uh, path uh, to the AP Laser. I originally uh, started looking at lasers. Uh, I talked with a uh, nephew of mine who makes live, uh, for, or, um, live edge furniture. Wow. And uh, I saw that he was having a problem in getting really the what the furniture was worth. He was mm -hmm. putting it out in consignment shops and so on. And I mentioned to him that if he personalized the uh, the, the, the tables, uh, uh, basically selling them by commission, he could make better money. And at that point, he said, "Well, I'm not familiar with graphics. Uh, is that something you could check into for me?" So we started checking into it, and I looked at a lot of the different lasers. Um, actually, I created a spreadsheet, and I assigned points uh, to the different uh, makes and models, uh, their features, their value, the, the cost. And when I was done, the AP Laser was the, the clear winner uh, due to their support and also due to their open architecture, which allows you to do things you can't do with others. Right, right. And I think that's something that like a lot of people don't think about is, you know, comparing them, you know, that detailed. Mm -hmm. You can see on the surface, oh, this one's cheaper and it's a little bit bigger. But, you know, under the surface there, there's a reason why it's cheaper, <laughs> right. you know, usually. Right. So, yeah, the, I uh, we've had our AP lasers for going on uh, three years now and no regrets. Uh, I have two of the SN4024s, mm -hmm. and uh, we keep them busy, and, and again, like I said, no regrets. Um, you know, you mentioned the, the, the open, you know, the openness of the AP laser, and that's really, um, for those of you who have the pleasure, have, who have had the pleasure of meeting Tong, he always is very passionate about the product and how he created it, and um, really he will talk, you know, he, gets a little kind of on the nose with it but he'll say stuff like a laser that the laser shouldn't be contained to a box right. and um it, by having it in the box you really limit you to 
what your capabilities are, but by having that remo removable Z-axis, it really does give us endless possibilities and allows you to do tables, large monuments, uh, without excessive equipment to handle a bed for them. You know, you need a cart and to roll it in and roll it out. Um, and you can set rollers easily. There's a lot of the versatility and the all-purpose mm -hmm. laser, uh, the AP laser that really... Yeah. I forget, not a lot of people know that that's, you know, what the AP stands for is all purpose. You know, there's a reason behind our madness. Right, so. yes. <laughs> well, simply the open architecture allows you to do the projects and the jobs that nobody else can handle. Right, exactly. right. And I know before we uh, started the show, you were talking about, you know, so many people get started in with their business, but they're just doing what everyone else does. So they're getting bogged down. You know, someone's doing it for cheaper because yep. they don't really care or they're doing it as a hobby. So they're not thinking about making money. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're left kind of in the dust trying to compete. But with, you know, something like this, mm -hmm. you well, we started out. Uh, the same as everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, when we first got started, uh, we did not have prior experience. Uh, I've done computer graphics uh, in the past, but it was all for print. Uh, so it was a learning curve. And totally different game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so there's a learning curve. You start out uh, lasering everything you can get your hands on. You know, my wife would get mad. There'd be things disappearing at home uh, because we took it in to laser it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I always joke if we could have lasered the cat, we <laughs> keep the cat in the cabinet, you know. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. But, um, yeah, you start out... Uh, uh, there's there's a learning curve and it's a good thing to try the different things and kind of feel your way along and along the way you'll find things that uh, maybe you like to do or mm -hmm. are better suited to what your business is about uh, but once you become proficient with these things then I think it's important to start focusing uh, I, I think one of the biggest disadvantages to lasers is the fact that they do so much Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you, you keep doing all the different things, getting distracted on this project and that project. And I think uh, at some point it's important to start developing your, your niche, what fits your business. And that's the process we've been going through and uh, deciding well, you know, we don't have to do everything. Mm -hmm. Right. You find what you're good at and what's worked for you and, and keep doing that. that um so you were talking a little bit about your, your learning experience. Again, you know, you going from print. I, 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 used, I used to do a lot of the trainings um, and, I, and the support. And I had lots of, I have many customers that would tell me, uh, or AP Lazy family members that would tell me, hey, I know how to use Adobe Photoshop and I know how to use Corel because I've been making designs for print and for flyers. And, and then I would have to explain to them, well, we have a head start, but we, I still need to teach you another process. Can you kind of maybe share kind of your uh, learning oh, before? I'm sorry, before I get into that, uh, Sam, Sam Sapp, thank you for joining us with the AP Laser Workshop. Uh, Sam is getting their AP, their 2816 delivered this Friday. And they asked me, is there an unboxing and assembly video available? Uh, one of the tools we have for our learning and, and for users of all levels is our AP Laser University. Mm -hmm. So if you're not already signed up for AP Laser University, please uh, go to that. Um, you will find all the resources you need to help you set up your AP Laser. Um, but you'll also receive some documents with your laser that are going to help you in, in getting in the right track and getting everything set up. Um, but we also have our 24-7 uh, customer support, technical support team, which will not help you just fix problems, but also get set up and also help you over the curve when you're missing something. That's 844-364-8211. Um, but can you share, uh, Jeff, your experience with working with our support team and how they've helped you in the different levels of the AP laser? Oh, they've been tremendous. Uh, I, I would uh, say that uh, at our shop, we're fairly technical. Again, we were used to working with computer graphics and computers in general, which mm -hmm. was a, a big help. Right. Uh, but as far as the things uh, that are laser related, uh, being able to pick up the phone and call and talk to somebody is um, obviously a, a big advantage. 
uh, one of the things that I find that uh, so many support systems, they, they don't even answer the phone with a live person. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to email and, and back and forth. Email is extremely inefficient when it comes to support. Uh, so I know that when we call uh, AP Laser Support, they're not always immediately available, but they'll call you back and you get to talk to somebody, uh, which to me is huge. Yeah. Well, and I think it's important to note, too, that that is... 365 uh 24 hours a day so if it's christmas and you're trying to get your backlog of orders done or it's easter or it's thanksgiving and you're trying to get work done on holidays because sometimes it's when we have to do things in this industry we're available okay we're gonna have somebody it's a it's a hundred percent north american based uh technical support mm -hmm. um so we have our team of our manufacturing facility in in windsor canada as well as our support team from our offices here in our headquarters here in Mason, Michigan, um, which is just south of Lansing. And then we also have our su support team that we have out in um, Las Vegas. We have some, so we actually have coast to coast in the North America, we have coverage, but w they're on rotation. So you're gonna get 24 seven, 365 days a year. It's genuinely, uh, uh, it, they're available for you and it's it's for the life of the laser we're not charging you a support fee we're not saying hey you gotta pay thousands of dollars a year if you want access to our support it's for it's in perpetuity for the life of the machine so we're here to help you help support you and it's not just technical support it's also hey I'm trying to remember how to do this or I need to do this with my image can you help me get over the hump right instead of beating yourself up for hours and hours and hours we have a support team that they can that, that's there to help you and you might get a support agent that says uh well i'm not familiar with that so i'm gonna have to escalate this to another support agent but we will find somebody who can help you if that if that uh support agent can't help you right off the bat so right right um which is not to talk about the support uh that you can receive from the user group which is huge it's i i mean i've been working here for over a year now and i still go back there yeah. <laughs> you know there's so, we have so many amazing creators and business owners in that group that it's just an amazing place to get your tips and different tricks and yep. oh i knew how to do that but you just found an even better way to do it or a yep. quicker way to do things so it's just building off of you know everybody's uh you know, skill set is, it, it's really fun. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the AP Laser user group, if you're not a member of the family already, um, you haven't had a chance to experience it yet, but it truly is a family and everybody on there is eager to help each other. And it's sometimes it's almost like, a, I, I call it a flex when somebody's like, oh yeah, I just did that for you in five minutes, right? And then <laughs> they share and then they get it and everybody supports each other. It's where, you know, we're a growing family together. Uh, I had to look at this twice because it, it's Jan Daly, and I, saw, I thought it said John Daly and um, different people. But Jan <laughs> Daly says, love, love, love my 4836LR and my 2816LR. Um, waiting on my 2816LR and uh, also a fiber when a laser, fiber laser when available in Canada. Yes, the fiber laser is going to be available very soon. So if you're looking for one of those, keep an eye out um, and I know. talk to your... We're planning on having some fun stuff revealed at LaserCon this year, too. If, yes. If you want to see some cool stuff uh, fiber-related, you, you definitely got to come visit. Yeah, there's going to be some really excited stuff going on. So, but, um, uh, so back to, yeah, again, the AP Laser user group is really, it's sometimes they're going to help you faster than we can. And that's not taken away from our support team. It's just how good our AP Laser family is. Uh, members are when you have hundreds and thousands of people or hundreds of people helping you mm -hmm. all eager to help you all at the same time it you know a lot of our family members will post something in the user group and then call tech support and then while they're on the phone with uh, tech support they're, they're already getting answers on their posts online mm -hmm. so um it's all part of what i call the ap laser advantage there you yes. go there yeah. you go and speaking of kind of you know building off the advantage i know that you're starting to get into the monument industry and doing yes. more with granite yeah. there memorials uh, uh urns uh and now we're, we're migrating to uh, monument stones yeah in yeah. fact i'm here today to pick up <laughs> <Yeah. stone>. uh, <laughs> it was ordered uh, uh monday and taking it back with us 
Yeah, so not only, I mean, with the open bed, you're able to do these larger things way easier than you would, yeah. you know, with any other machine. Yeah. But also because we have our sister company, Supernova International, it's really easy to source granite for your company as well mm -hmm. for, you know, really reasonable yeah. prices. I, I brought and, samples of some yeah, of the yeah, things we've we done today. Can you tell um, us about some of these samples? Yeah, the first thing I'll tell you is everything I brought uh, is from Supernova. So there's a real nice connection there. Uh, again, part of, if you want to call it the AP laser advantage, uh, we're doing a lot in granite. Uh, and I brought everything from uh, granite uh, plaques, uh, mm -hmm. granite urns. We've got some other style of urns I'll show in just a second. And uh, the thing that you're going to find is when you start working in granite, and it takes a little time to, it does. to uh, pick it up, but you're offering something that really nobody else is offering. Uh, there's a certain niche to granite when you can tell people I can do a plaque, for instance, uh, etched in granite. Mm -hmm. um, I brought a plaque uh, that's over here. Uh, it's a retirement plaque. Uh, we have people that have come to us and say we'd like to do something different. We don't want the typical hang on the wall type of award. Uh, and uh, we can do that in granite. And we can do not only uh, etching like that, but we can do photo etching. Uh, so the interesting thing, too, is the cost of the granite material, uh, these plaques, is not really much more than a nice uh, genuine wood plaque with a right. brass plate that goes on it. Right. But what you can ask for it, what you can uh, sell it for is, is much greater. Yes. And I will say, what I like about granite, like getting started, it is, you know, it's a whole own beast to figure out the settings and get things tuned in. But you can actually do testing on just the black poster board that you get for you 25 can. cents yeah. or whatever from the dollar store. Yeah. It's going to give you pretty similar results to what you're going to get in the end. So you can kind of tweak things out there and then go to your test piece and then go to your final. Yeah. <laughs> There's a certain pucker factor the yeah. first couple times you... Yeah hit the start button on granite uh and uh we've uh, found us we, we buy some uh inexpensive granite uh, floor tiles to practice on mm -hmm. we've ruined a few pieces of granite along the way but on the the nicer stuff we've practiced enough and tested enough uh that it's come out quite nice yeah yeah and i know it's a huge trend right now to do the edge to edge engravings on those larger yep. monuments yep. and they turn out just gorgeous yep. and I mean, you can't really get that the results like that from anything other than no, a laser. No, we're, so. we're uh, we enjoy doing the granite. Uh, mm -hmm. It shows it. It uh, elevates us above your hobby labor right. yeah. uh, laser company. Uh, I see on the forum sometimes people talk about the competition is is the laser market uh, saturated? Mm -hmm. Are there too many out there? And if you're going to function at the hobby laser level. I'd say the answer is yes. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. brother's got a little laser machine in their bedroom closet. And if you're going to compete with those guys, you're going to lose. They're, well, they're hobbyists. They take it right to the bottom. So elevate your game. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you know, there's something to be said about, you know, uh, in the, specifically, specifically in the monument industry, it used to be not necessarily unheard of, but un, uh, unrealistic to engrave the tops of monuments and the sides of monuments short of doing it with a, uh, a hand, a hand etcher, mm -hmm. um, which carries its own kind of weight and it price does. itself. Yeah. But now you're able to, you know, AP laser comes into play. Um, and all of a sudden you can, you can set up a monument, um, underneath of it to where you can engrave the top of it, turn outside, do the side of it. Yeah, uh, we have customers uh, or AP Laser family members that will actually lift the laser up on blocks as well to give more mm -hmm. clearance. We've done a Volkswagen Bug, uh, the hood of a bu <laughs> Volkswagen Bug before, and um, yeah, there's just a lot of uh, opportunities, uh, endless possibilities, yeah. really, when you get into the open cabinet, the open architecture. The open architecture. Uh, yep. This one here was the one that fascinated me a little bit. Did, can you, that, yeah, that one's a four sides this was one oh, of the yeah. first granite urns that we did um and uh we've done an etch on all four sides uh the front is one of the first uh, composite uh, pictures i created uh this is actually my father uh he's not in this one but um 
uh, it's my father. He was a bombardier in World War II, wow. and so we did that. And if you continue to turn it, uh, Dad was a nature lover, so we did a nature scene on it. Mm -hmm. And if you continue, there's a picture of Dad. And if you go a little bit further, there's a religious picture. So uh, working on this type of thing, uh, and again, when you sell it, somebody can get it etched on one side or all four sides. Right. You have a lot of flexibility, but it, uh, it gives you a nice uh, place to work with, uh, uh, again, the photo etching. Yeah. Which yeah. photo etching is something, if you go to LaserCon, it'll be Chris and other people there training on that. Mm -hmm. um, takes practice. But uh, it, it really pays off when you can do photo etching. You're doing, again, you're elevating your game. You're mm -hmm. a laser professional, not a laser hobbyist. Yes, yeah. But the well, photo, yeah, the photo etching is its own beast. Um, you will have a lot of failures before you get there. Don't just get discouraged. I think it took me close to a year to figure out just the, the science of yeah, what worked one, for one me. One tip I will give people uh, when they're getting into working with photo etching uh, two tips, really. First of all, the better the quality of the picture that somebody brings to you, Absolutely. the better the output. Uh, you spend less time trying to Photoshop it or however you're processing the pictures. Uh, but the other thing is you don't have to be a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. uh, I think most AP, if you own an AP laser, you probably already are proud of your work and working at a, a, a very high level. Uh, but you can look at anything you etch and find, oh, I could have tweaked just a little bit here and there. What we've discovered is um, we, we'll uh, deliver something and, and it's a little, well, we could have done this or that, but the people are in love with it. They have no idea. I used to do that when I trained customers. I'd, I always had the test tiger. I'm sure all of our AP laser family members have seen the test tiger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had run the test tiger and I knew how it was supposed to look, and I would I would use that to identify what's wrong with this setup, and I would make adjustments, and I would get done, and it would look like garbage, and then but the customer would be like, "Wow, that's so amazing, that's so good," and I'm like, "Eh, no, it's not." Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 having what I call a, a threshold of good enough, <laughs> and if you have a pretty good high level of good enough, uh, don't sweat the the last little one or two percent because uh, you're going to find people love the work you deliver right and, and as long as you're sorry <laughs> as long as you're putting you know your full effort into it you know that your customer can really tell that you care about them you care about the work and they're going to get they're still going to get that memory back yep. and it's going to mean yep. a lot to them exactly so. high level let's talk about elevating products okay we have a couple of these boxes here that um, oh yeah you, we were talking about beforehand that you Pointed out which uh, that they were made to insert photos, but you mm -hmm. actually used uh, black acrylic. Yeah, Supernova sells these, and again, everything that I brought today is from Supernova. So you have a, a great source. Uh, you know, a lot of people with lasers say, "Where do I get my granite?" Call Supernova. Mm -hmm. uh, Urns Supernova. If I can show this real quick, uh, this was designed that uh, people could put a picture in here right and so they slide would just it in. usually just be like a print in there which is right. fine but not but, as special uh, what we've done is to take a sheet of black acrylic and etch that cut it to slip in there and it uh, really really looks nice yeah yeah i mean the results are there you can see it <laughs> yeah yeah but this is something uh i think the urn is 30 dollars, and there's a couple dollars of acrylic there you can sell it for 129 159 right uh whatever so there's nice profit in it it's easy to do yeah and it has nice results yeah uh, they've got uh, both the uh, satin black and they've got the uh, cherry wood finish and they've got small ones for small pets and larger ones for people or for big dogs Right. So, and for the acrylic to fill that, you just used, uh, you were telling me, I think you just used the acrylic patio paint, the general craft yeah, paint? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we etch it, and then for a little bit better accent, we rub a patio paint into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, I mean, that small touch makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. But again, it's it's being able to, uh, by working with photos and personalization, that's the other thing that you have uh, is anytime you can personalize something, you're elevating the value. Right. 
Well, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know another, you know, another part of your business is you get, you have your online presence as well. And I know that's a whole topic in and of itself, <laughs> building yeah. that up. Uh, maybe yeah. we'll hear more about that at LaserCon, but. Um, our shop is located in a very, very small village. Mm -hmm. And the amount of walk-in traffic that we have will not sustain us. Uh, so uh, we've uh, worked on uh, selling online, and I like it and hate it both. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing I have against selling online is it, usually, uh, and in our case, we have an Etsy store, mm -hmm. but you're throwing yourself out there with everybody else in the country that's selling things that are similar. Right. And once again, um, it becomes a situation where everybody's kind of doing the same thing, and I think it kind of commoditizes the product. It brings the value and price down. Um, this last uh, quarter of last year, we sold a ton of etched glassware on Etsy. In fact, we were the best seller in several different categories. Wow. And we were busy etching, <laughs> but you also have to pack it, and you have to pack it well so it arrives safely mm -hmm. and uh, if you start adding up the cost of shipping and the amount of labor involved it takes a big chunk out of it right. so you work very very hard uh, and the other thing about uh, uh, online selling some people are very good at social media promotion uh, but when you're online unless you are good at drawing people to you you're just uh, going through the exercise uh, yeah. so uh, we, we've done uh, I guess uh, Etsy every month sends us a email, congratulations, you sold this and that and everything else. But you start doing the math and you're going, well, I don't know. Right, and, right. And uh, so we're kind of taking our business. Uh, uh, Tong is a, uh, a proponent of moving into the monument business. The monument business is going through a major transition right now. And actually that transition gives us an on-ramp, an opportunity to come in and do something that uh, we can offer that the traditional monument companies aren't offering, mm -hmm. and we can do it at a really nice profit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, and we were talking about this a little bit before our workshop today that uh, you actually use the term that the monument industry is recession-proof. Exactly, so. yeah. It's oh. recession-proof, um, it's not seasonal. Yep. You know, if you're selling online, you're going to be in a seasonal market. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, we, you know, uh, Thanksgiving Day, I was in there uh, all the way seven days a week uh, cranking out the, the glassware and wrapping it up and shipping it out. And uh, so you're really ragging, you know, running yourself ragged uh, for several months since uh, the... Uh, the beginning of the year mm -hmm. our Etsy sales have gone in the toilet uh, and they'll remain there until late uh, summer and then they'll start picking up again Seasonal. right yeah right. very seasonal yeah and you have to you know keep up with the trends to see what you know it, it is a full-time job just right. staying online which is you know a bulk of our customers don't touch it you know they're just in their community and people know them as oh this is where I go to get my stuff customized right. but you know, when you're living in an area where you're not getting, you know, you don't have a big community or you don't have a shop that you're able to set up, you know, it does help. It does help. Well, it, it points out something I uh, said earlier, you know, find your niche. Yeah. Well, you have to look at your business. And there are some people that do very, very, very well mm -hmm. uh, doing seasonal things. They, yep. they have a shop, a uh, walk-in shop, doing those types of things. It doesn't work for our business. Right. And uh, after sitting there for the first year and we got stuff set up and, you know, the, all the samples and everything, but uh, we're twiddling our thumbs. Mm -hmm. uh, what you need to do is to recognize, okay, where is our opportunity? Where's our market? Uh, and again, I'm, I'm finding right now we have not started to market uh, to the monument business, and we already have business. We've got uh, three uh, large stones, uh, and we've done a lot of the uh, uh, retirement or uh, award types of plaques and everything in between the urns. Uh, so uh, that's a, a, a very lucrative market, I think, yeah. and one that we definitely want to be in. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, um, Jeff, is, I have a question in the chat um, from William Hadley. 
who will be at LaserCon with Frank uh, from Pops. Um, uh, will Jeff be at LaserCon? Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah. So I knew the answer to that. But um, so uh, Jeff has a, a whole presentation and outline prepared. And um, we, we wouldn't necessarily have had time to cover all that today. Oh, no. But if you <laughs> want the full... Uh, presentation, you got to come to LaserCon. Um, sorry to, to give you a, a, a hook or a draw, but you definitely <laughs> don't want to miss it, okay? Because he's going to have very good structure. You can bring your notepads too, because he's going to give you kind of a formula that's going to help you based on his outline. That's going to at least help you find your own direction. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say he's going to give you all the answers, but he's going to give you the information that's going to help you find your own direction, which is what we all have to do based on our markets and and where we can find our niche, okay, where we can find our specialty, where we can find our target market. Right. That's, that's quite a build up there. I mean, <laughs> hey, we're no excited. Pressure, so. No pressure. So. <laughs> um, um, but he's not the only one, okay. We're going to have Frank from uh, Pop, Frank and uh, William from yep. um, Pops and Pops Custom Signs, right. And um, they're going to be helping you. They're going to have a lot of good information. We're going to have... Um, some speakers on um, uh, Tinker Lab. What are they going to be sharing? This is going to be educational, but it's going to be. Um, They're going to be talking about retail too. Retail as well, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a lot of retail, uh, or a lot of retail uh, uh, help at this laser con. We're going to have online presence. We're going to have funeral monument help mm -hmm. uh, and presentations. Um, we're really going to be checking um, all the boxes or most of the boxes at this laser con. That you're the both days you're gonna just be packed full of do, uh, knowledge and information that you're all gonna want. Okay, even if you're not necessarily looking at getting into the monument industry or the funeral industry, you still want to be part of those because they're gonna have elements of the business of business or uh, stuff to do with the AP Laser. You're gonna want to be a part of. Well, and you know, maybe you attend one of those talks and you find out it is for you. Like you said, this is a new venture for you, yeah. and you're finding it's looking pretty good yeah. so <laughs> well i attended the one in florida recently which mm -hmm. was specific to monuments and uh, matt buxton uh hosts that and uh, matt is a tremendous uh, source of information I'm, I'm sure he'll be in sandusky oh, oh yeah. he will yes. um, <laughs> yeah you have a hard time keeping matt away but uh the interesting thing in uh going to that particular event uh i learned what i want to stay away from now i, I don't want right. to try to do everything in the monument business i want to do what fits our business yeah and uh within that um you know we can make good money mm -hmm. uh which uh, at the end of the day it's it's great to enjoy lasering and and uh, all the things you can do with it and at the end of the day if you want to do your pumpkin pie or whatever <laughs> that's fine right but at some point you got to pay the bills mm -hmm. and uh so that's why i think it's important to sit down look at your business if you're new uh by all means start out and trying different things and finding out what works for you some people like lasering certain things others like something else um, and seeing how it fits into your business mm -hmm. find that niche yeah so i i have i have another question here from uh i don't know if it's gene or genie i'm not sure the connect connect correct pronunciation of that morgan she asked uh they ask the pet urns. Do you go through pet cremation, through a pet cremation company, vet offices, or direct sale to customers? Now, in my experience, I know. Before I let you have you answer, I know in my experience. I've had, um, like, I go into my vet office and they and somebody has worked out a deal with them where they display their product there, and then um, they might work it out to where the vet gets a part, or if they make a sale, they get a commission, or at least something that makes it worth it, you know, what's in it for me, right? Um, in my experience, there's, there's, sometimes there's agreements with the vet um, um, who usually will handle the communication with pet cremations as well. Um, but there's companies out there that do that. Um, what, what's your, your experience, Jeff? Well, uh, like you, I've seen that uh, the cremation companies, uh, they like to bundle their urns with right. that. Um, we have not tried to market it real hard yet uh most of what we've done is word of mouth mm -hmm. uh now i uh have a, a a good channel for greyhounds uh i have 
retired greyhounds as pets and my wife and I belong to the greyhound uh, a group, an adoption group. And so um, we uh, have done uh, a lot of work for the, I think this one's a greyhound right here that we brought with us. Uh, but the word of mouth there, it, it spreads. Uh, we often will donate um, a product, and it may not be an urn, it might be a little photo plaque or a cutting board with a greyhound on it. Uh, a lot of these groups have auctions and will donate mm -hmm. something. Oh, yeah. Uh, again, that's a, a real good way to, to yeah. market. Um, so I, I don't think there's any best way. Uh, as you pointed out, you can talk to the vets. Um, the cremation uh, companies tend to already have their own locked-in way to go with it. Uh, but uh, if you have information uh, available at the vet clinic, if it's putting out cards or pamphlets and working out whatever, a lot of vets I think are just happy to be able to refer something uh, and not need any the money, uh, uh, commission if you will. Um, the other thing is I think it's important to have the customer contact you direct. Yeah. Uh, and this is true of funeral homes as well. If you're doing the monuments, they want, if they're going to make a sale, they want it to be simple. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing, again, we're doing with a lot of this is personalization, doing photo etching and personalized uh, whatever it is somebody wants on that. And uh, it's complicated if it goes through a third party. So you want to give them a way that they can steer the business towards you. If right. you need to know that they referred it so you can give them a commission, that's good, but you need to work with the uh, the customers because that's what you right, have to yes. offer is that customization, the personalization. Yeah. That's a very good point, yeah. So if, you, if, if you were to work it out, I know my local vet office has the contact of the person who does it on their display. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my vet office doesn't actually deal with it at all. If you ask them about, hey, where would I get that plaque made? I happen to know the person that has the laser at our vet, so and I, I mean, obviously, if I need something for one of my pets, I'm just gonna use the laser that's in my garage. I mean, yeah. why wouldn't I? Um, but if, if, uh, but they, if you were to ask, and they would say, "Oh, the information, the contact information is right there on the display." So. Right. Yeah. Uh, if uh, you and again, just going out and talking to the vets, I, I think is the best way. Yeah. Uh, but you could do the small urns if you've got a vet that's uh, generally interested in, in promoting. Uh, do a couple samples. Yeah. Right. If that's sitting out on their de on the counter, uh, that's a good advertisement right there. Well, yeah. it, it, it provides a, a solution to a problem that people don't know they have until they have it, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really what we are doing with our AP lasers. We're providing solutions. And um, I, I kind of liken it to Costco, right? <laughs> Costco has everything you need. You just don't realize it until you see it. Um, if, if, for yeah. those of you who have a Costco membership, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, you can't go in there for just well, one the ad thing. The advantage <laughs> of the vet is the, you're, the vet's going to know before the cremation company does that right. there's a potential customer. So if you could have something, a little display or something, and some contact information on the counter, you're getting ahead of the cremation company. Right. Right. Um, so we've gotten a, a lot of good information from you today, Jeff. And thank you all for joining us. Um, again, if you have questions from of Jeff, um, find us um, at LaserCon. Mm -hmm. No. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions for the for the AP Laser Workshop, or if you're interested in being a guest with us, uh, please uh, send us an email to aplaserlive at aplaser.com. Uh, we're we're always looking for guests. It doesn't have to be in person. We are set up to do remote. Uh, remote hosting for guests so um uh we're, we're always looking for people for our family members to share their experience and also feature their business and uh get some kind of cross promotion going on but it, at least just share your experience with ap laser and uh join us on the on the workshop here mm -hmm. uh again thank you for joining us today jeff and um thank you for having me and, and yeah <laughs> um Thank you, Alicia, for not uh, leaving me high and dry <laughs> yeah. today like you thought about doing. And uh, <laughs> um, she thought about it, and I would not have been able to make it alone. I'm floating <laughs> off three hours of sleep right now. So, but anyways, uh, again, thank you all for joining us, and we will stay tuned and look us up on our Before You Buy group or our AP Laser User group.
click subscribe so you don't miss our next uh, our next live, which we'll be getting that put together and getting word out for that uh, soon. And once we get the plan for it, um, looking forward to seeing you all next time. And uh, have a good day. Bye. <laughs>